Hi, hello, hey, and welcome to this very special episode of Rushed Vibes. I am your host, Miss Jessica Rushed Vibes Rushing, accompanied by Little Miss Solace Rushed hello. Vibes Rushing. I'm Solace. And As we are here to rush the vibe with our tribe. Tribe. Hi, Miss Solace. How are you today? Good. What have you been up to? So today I went to the first day of school. Okay. And it was very fun. Very fun. What made it very fun? Because I got to meet my teacher and I got to meet, make new friends and it was very fun. That's great to hear. So you had the first day of school of what grade? Second. Second grade. grade. What does it feel to be a, what does it feel like to be a second grader? Good. Good. Does it feel different from first grade? Do you feel older and more mature? Kind of. Kind of? Kind of. You feel like you've learned more than your first graders or the kindergartners? Yeah, because they're a younger grader than me. Yeah, that's true. You've got two years on of educational experience on them. Yeah. So you're back to school. You've got a new teacher. Do you have any new classmates? Yes. So people that you didn't have in your school before or people that you didn't know? Yeah. What's it like for them, do you think? Has it been easy for them? I don't know. You don't know? Was everybody nice to the new kids? Good. That's good. So you have been, last year, about a year ago, you were on Rushed Vibes. And now you're back. So what has that, happened in that a year? year? I was five. Mm-hmm. What has happened in a year? Besides a lot. Well... Fun stuff. Like what? So, this is a very, very exciting surprise for you guys. Today, I got a Chromebook. Oh. And tell the people what a Chromebook is. Chromebook is like a computer, but a little bit smaller. Uh-huh. And, um... Like I said, it's like a computer, and I haven't even used it yet, mm -hmm. but, okay. Why did you get a Chromebook? Because um, I was the um, perfect education student. I can't remember exactly, but I think you were, like, you were categorized as, like, one of the best students in your after-school yeah. program. Yeah. So, because of that, you got a computer. That's amazing. Yeah. And you got that computer today on the first day of school. Yep. Do you remember what the back, what they etched in the back side of your computer? The message? They said, congratulations, congratulations from Great Enrichment Program, short, f longer for GEP. Perfect. So... Last time you were on Rush Vibes, how many sisters do you ha did you have? Do you remember? One. You won. And now you have... Two. So Dos. tell us a little bit about what it's like having two little sisters. It's very annoying, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's very annoying, but fun. What makes it annoying? That one of my sisters doesn't listen to me. Which one doesn't listen to you? Second. The second one? Yes. But the third one listens to you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what makes it fun? That. I get to play with them all the time. Okay. So you have you always have a playmate. Right? Unless I'm at school. Unless you're at school. And when you're at school, they actually really, really miss you. They're used to you being around. So when you're not around, they can tell. And they act, they act different because you're not here. So... If you don't ever feel special, you should feel special just because of that. Your sisters really miss you when you're not here. 
Like this morning, Savi was just like, I miss Solace. Of course. I want Solace. You know how she says your name? Solace. (laughs) So she really, really, really missed you. Okay, so you're a second grader. Yeah. Now you have two big sis- two little sisters. You're the, <laughs> you're the big is? sister of two little sisters. What else is what else is new? Tell me about your summer. What did you do this summer? So uh, what I did is okay. Let me see. I went to the Dominican Republic with you. You, you did. And um. And what else? What was the Dominican Republic like? It was fun. Tell me about it. How did you get to the Dominican Republic? So I rode in. I rode an airplane, mm-hmm. and then I and then I got to another airport, and then I got to the Dominican Republic. How did we get from the airport to where we stayed at the Dominican Republic? So we first rode the airplane, then we got to another airport, and then. We took like it was like a van, a limo, yes. and to um, another place, and then we got a go kart, and then that's when we got to our villa. You're right. We did. We took the limo to the resort, and then we had a golf cart at the resort, and that took us around. So, what did you enjoy most about being in the Dominican Republic? Well, because not a lot of six year olds have been to the Dominican Republic. I, I, I collect sand, mm-hmm. put it in a bottle, and then I look at the bottom. You can see there's dark sand, and then at the top, there's dark sand from like ocean sand, and then there's like middle sand and then there's like really light sand mm-hmm. and then i shook it up and then it looks like all the sand all the different colors okay do you ever want to go back to the dominican republic actually yes yeah i know if i don't get sick yes <laughs> so you did okay so did you get sick yes how bad were you sick 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 you did get sick probably the what the last the second to last day you got sick and then the last day, you kind of just had to chill. Yeah. So it was a little rough, but you made it. I ate breakfast, you but did. I didn't eat dinner. You didn't, but that was okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. now I'm better, but it's still a little sick. So for vacation, you went to the Dominican Republic. Before vacation, what did you do? Before vacation, I was in summer camp. Mm-hmm. And I got to see my friend Aubrey, Manaya, London... Hayden, who else? Oh, Kalia. I got to see a lot of my friends. Mm -hmm. So you enjoyed summer camp? Yeah. So you know what was really cool was summer camp ended ended on, I think, the 29th. And on the 30th, we were getting on a plane and going to the Dominican Republic. So you just had, like, the best summer. You went from camp to the Dominican Republic. And who was there... Olivia. While you were, yes, Olivia, your beloved Olivia. My mom T. Your mom T. And what did we celebrate for your mom T and your cousin? Her birthday. Yes. We celebrated their birthday while we were in the Dominican Republic. Yep. So you had quite a good summer. Yeah. Yeah. Can't I complain. I wouldn't complain. <laughs> I mean, you could complain, but it's not worth it. So solace. In the last year, you've gotten another sister. You've gone to the Dominican Republic. You went to camp. Yep. What else? What else is new? You had your recital. How was that? Good. Good? Even though I forgot I could be a stat. It's okay. I did. It's okay. It happens. I think everybody forgets a few steps, but it's not about forgetting the steps. It's how you recover. Please I just got a stuck song stuck in my head and mm-hmm. I can't stop singing it. So last time you were on Rushed Vibes, you said, I'm betting everybody was missing me. And you were certain that everybody 
in the vibe tribe was missing you because they had never met you. Do you still feel like everybody's missing you? A little bit. A little bit. Why is everybody missing you? Well, everybody's already seen half of my life. Okay. I'm very, very meh feeling. Meh is, the feeling meh is not like happy, sad, angry. It's not any of those feelings. It's just meh. You feel like nothing. That's mm-hmm. meh. It was, it's very meh. To your, your life is very meh feeling? No, it's very meh to, f- to like share your life around the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very okay. meh. So if you, I mean, I know you don't know a lot of places, but if you had to pick the place for your next vacation, where would you pick? Family vacation. If I could go wherever I wanted. Wherever Some place I anywhere. would never be. Have you never been? I would either go to Disneyland or Disney World. Oh. I've always went there. Who would go on your trip? You, mm-hmm. Daddy, Savi, Sonoma. Uh, I actually don't know who else. It'd just be the five of us. Oh, that's sweet. So, tell me about your sisters. So, if you didn't hear the last Rush 5 episode with me in it, one of them is named Savi and one of them is named Sonoma. And one of them is 10 months now and one of them is two. Okay. So, tell us a little bit about your two-year-old sister. So, like I said, her name is Sovereign. And um, she's very sweet, but sometimes very annoying. (laughs) What makes her annoying? No offense. It's okay. (laughs) No offense. Sometimes, when I tell her not to touch something, right away, she does it. (laughs) Sometimes, she just does the opposite. Of the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell us about. Ooh, excuse me. Tell us about your sister Sonoma. Sonoma. So, one thing about Sonoma is that she is very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. She will never not want to play. Mm-hmm. She always wants to play, unless she's crying. Unless that. Sorry, I just got a itchy spot right here. It's okay. Okay. Now. Back to what I was saying about Sonoma. She doesn't really laugh when I tickle her, but she has a tickle spot. Mm-hmm. It's under her neck. Under her I neck know. is her tickle spot. Because when I tickle her, she'll take my hand away. <laughs> That's how I know it's her tickle spot. So, about Sonoma, also, um, she, um, okay. What am I going to say? Okay, just ignore what I just said. Ignore what I just said. So, Sonoma, like I said, is very sweet. And very, sometimes kindful. Sometimes, not always. But, anyways, like I was saying. My sisters are very sweet. Do you love your sisters? Are you happy that you're a big sister? I'm happy. I'm kind of sad. I would say, why are you sad? I'm kind of sad, but I'm kind of happy. Why are you kind of sad? Because I get a room to myself. Hmm? Well, I like the room to myself. Wait, okay. Sorry, I just put that away. A.K. Let's oh, move this forward. Um, so, what I don't like about being the older sister is that I don't want my sisters to missing to be missing out on stuff. That's why I don't like being a big sister sometimes. What did they miss out on? The Dominican Republic. They did miss out on that. Um, but do you think that they would have had a good time if they went? Yeah. Do you think everybody else would have had a good time if they had gone? You think Daddy and I would have had a good time if they had gone? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. 
I don't think so. I do. I definitely do. Okay. So you wish that they had been able to go on the trip? Yeah. If all five of us and Olivia could go on the trip. All five of us and Olivia. No, Olivia's parents. Just all five of us plus Olivia. (laughs) No, plus Olivia and her house. Short for her family and her house. So you wish your sisters had gone to the Dominican Republic? Yeah. I thought you enjoyed having a moment to yourself. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Do you ever feel like it's tough being a big sister? Yeah. What makes it tough for you? Because I always... Well, I like babysitting my sisters, but sometimes I don't. How often? Like when they're out of a certain mood... I just don't want to babysit them. Do you have to babysit them a lot? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Like one time when we were eating French toast and bacon and eggs for breakfast, you went to the bathroom and I had to, you went to brush (laughs) your teeth and I had to babysit them for a long period. And that was too much for you? A little bit. Okay. But it was good. I can understand that being stressful. I don't want to stress you out. What um, what do you like about being Solace? Um, I like being Solace because my name is Solace. <laughs> do you remember what uh, Solace means? It means comfort. Comfort, it does. It means comfort in time of sorrow. Do you know what, what sorrow, sorrow means? <laughs> we said that at the same time. We did. No, so I sorrow don't. is another way of saying sadness. So your name means comfort in time of sadness so when like people are sad or when there's sadness you solace are a comfort so i comfort them hmm? i actually do comfort some people who are sad you do i have we have been out and people have met you and we've told them your name is solace and they say you look like solace and they don't know anybody <laughs> named Solace, but they're just saying you look like the meaning of the word Solace. Oh, which is, like I look like comfort. You okay. look like comfort, exactly. Well, I am very comfort. <laughs> you are very comfort. So that's something that um, I want to make sure it's been you always... It's 17 minutes since we started. It has been 17 that. minutes. How long do you think we should go for? How long do you think we got enough more to talk about? I said 30 minutes, but... It could be a short Well, episode. I do have school tomorrow. You do have school. So and we, I have to get to the bus You have at a to good get time. to the bus, and we have to get you to bed. All right. That's true. I thought it was a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> but we also do want you Why to have your... Why is there mouthwash in here? Just saying. Mouthwash? I didn't need to say that on camera. It's okay. Ignore that. We, Beep! We don't have kids' mouthwash. We have grown-up mouthwash. It's over there. Plus. It's a good is thing there to... anything else you want to talk about? If you ask me any questions, yeah. I have to ask you questions. Um, uh, what questions can I ask? Ooh. I can see you're getting tired. <gasps> Mommy is tired, so I didn't sleep well last night. And then when I started to fall back asleep, Sonoma woke up. I don't know, lately I have not been sleeping well. And then Sonoma woke up. So then I had to put her back to sleep. And then when I fell asleep mm-hmm. again, daddy yeah. had to wake me up to take Sonoma because she had woken up again and he needed <laughs> to start getting you ready for school. And take a bath. Stuff mm-hmm. Like that. And yeah, I need to take you a bath. I need to get your lunchbox ready. Even though you did not eat most of your lunch. You ate the cookie. You didn't eat the strawberries, the blueberries. I ate some of the strawberries. You ate some of the quesadilla. You ate the baby bell cheese. Baby Bill. And then you got school lunch. I only ate the cheese dippers. I didn't eat the Did you eat breakfast at school too? <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? Um, those swirly cookies things. You know, they didn't tell us that they let the parents come in and have breakfast with the kids. If I had known, we would have brought you to school and had breakfast with you. Did you get there in time for the parents to have breakfast with their kids? <laughs> Wait, what? Like, I was told by one of the moms that they let parents come and have breakfast with the students today. And I was so upset because if I had known, we would have brought you to school and had breakfast with you at school. That 
That is definitely not fair. It's not. I was so upset. It's not fair at all. I, was like, I totally would have had breakfast with Solace. Too bad I'm a bus rider. Yeah, but I mean, I would have driven you to school so that we could have had breakfast together. What are you doing? Uh, yeah. are, you, are you ready to go to bed? No. I'm just it's been very... a long day. You've been up since 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. Well, I woke like up at 6 a.m.? Like 6.20 Okay, now that my hair is up, what else do should we talk about? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. I've been talking. I've been leading this conversation. What do you want to talk about? Uh, let's see. I'm going to ask you. Tell the podcast subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, I usually say, Daddy usually says that at the end of each episode. I'm just saying that now, so we don't have to. Well, okay, everybody. So I just wants to make sure that you, if you watch this episode, you do not forget to subscribe. So if you are on YouTube, make sure to hit that. Subscribe button right away. Right away. Right away. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Because when you subscribe, we get to make more videos. Yes. And then you get to know when we make more videos. Um, follow us on Instagram and yeah. like us on Facebook. You can also um, follow our episodes on your local streaming apps. So Apple Music, not Apple Music, um, Apple Podcast, TuneIn, Spotify. I'm forgetting something. But that's how you can keep up with the rushed vibes. But hopefully one of you can... Down in the comment, tell my mom the thing that she's um, forgetting. Yeah. Hopefully. I'm sure daddy will remember and he'll add it to it. But yeah, we don't have daddy in this episode. We, no. we swap daddy out for you. Nope. Not today. Yeah. So do not you, today. I remember last year you were talking about you wanted your own podcast. So you're a year older. Do you still want your own pod, your own kids? Yeah. Podcast? What would you talk about if you had your own podcast? No, not like a podcast, like YouTube channel. Oh, you want a YouTube channel? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm stretching. Well, why? I'm very unstretched. All right, how many minutes have we been talking? One. 22 minutes and 36 seconds. Oh, I was looking at the bottom. Yeah. You think you have anything else you want to talk about, or you want to call it a day? How? I went to you to tell the podcast how you did my hair. How I did your hair? I braided it. No, like, what did you put in it, and how did you do it? Like, how did you braid it? Like, okay. what way did you so braid it? So, first, I took you to Miss Sala, and she did your hair, and she trimmed your hair. And then, I washed your hair, and I did a cold blow-dry to straighten your hair. And then, I braided your hair in triangle parts, which are really cool, because normally people get box braids. But I did triangle parts on your braids, and you said you wanted purple, so we did purple and i'm gonna put some green in if you guys get to see me with yes, the green so hair. we're gonna supposed to do your hair over again and we might do it this weekend since it is what labor day weekend so you have monday off and we can braid your hair yes. and put green in it or maybe we won't put green in it we'll see um we but that is green how i did your hair we are going to put green in it so your hair is going to be super, super long and super thick because it's been braided away for a month and then you want to put it away again. So, but I love your face with braids, but you look so mature and so grown. I braids. am grown. You are, but you just look like such a big girl with braids and it, it's hard for me because I still want you to be, I still want you to be a little, a, my little solace. But you have to grow up. It's like Savi has to grow up and Sonoma has to grow up. Even though I want you. I'm just picturing in my mind how Savi's going to look when she's older. What age? I don't know. Like how she gets older. She's probably going to look older. a lot like you. Maybe she'll end up being having braids at the end of her life. She'll have some braids at some point. Well... Well, it is late, and I need you to get some sleep. So, Vibe Tribe. This is the Solace Rushing, Solace Rushed Me. Vibes Rushing episode of Rushed like Vibes. Us. And she did an amazing job. 
her first episode as a second grader yes. she will definitely be back but we thank you for your audience we thank you for taking the time to listen we thank you for your support be sure to subscribe to us on definitely not youtube definitely not what definitely not forget don't forget definitely not forget to subscribe to us on youtube <laughs> You can access us on Instagram. Yeah. Rushed Vibes. You can follow us or like us on Facebook. We do not have a Twitter. But you can also access us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and TuneIn. I'm forgetting one. But hopefully you can say it in the comments. Daddy will put it in the comments. But we thank you, Vibe Tribe. Thank you for listening to our sweet girl. And we are out. Out of here. So we will rush the vibe with our tribe. Next time. Out. Remember our song? Yeah. Out. Hey. Hey. I done came. Way too fucking. Stop me now. I done came. Way too fucking. Stop me now. I done came. Way too fucking. Stop me now. I done came. Way too fucking. Stop me now. Stop me now.